Hello everybody, my name is Sulti and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today uh, we will be doing a review on the First Order Battle Pack from 25016. It had the set number 75132 and had 88 pieces. This set retailed for $13 in the US and uh, as you can see it has four minifigures which we're just about to get into now. Now starting off this set we have a First Order Stormtrooper. It has a stud shooter as you can see here and it has detailed leg and torso printing. It has a helmet which was relatively new at the time because it was made for the uh, Force Awakens Lego sets because it is a different helmet to the Imperial Stormtrooper. If we turn around here you can see that it does have some back printing and if we flip it back around again you can see that underneath the helmet there is the regular angry clone face, which is on pretty much every clone and stormtrooper. Next up, we have the heavy assault stormtrooper, which is obviously another first order stormtrooper. It again has got the stud shooter and has got uh, the same leg printing as the first order stormtrooper. It does, however, have different torso printing with uh, like a military ammo vest on top which you can see the design does carry on around the back. Flipping this back around again does show you the same helmet as the First Order Stormtrooper and the same head as well. Thirdly in this set we have a First Order crew member which has got no leg printing and not a lot of torso printing. It has no printing on the helmet, this is just a single mould. Which you can see if I just turn that around, there's some more detail. Flipping this minifigure around, it does have some back printing, which if I just take the helmet off you can see a bit better. Then turning this figure around again, it has a, not the same face printing as the Stormtroopers, it has a different face print. Last but not least, we have another First Order crew member, but this time it has a cap. This gives the First Order crew member an exposed face, where you can see his little frowny face there. Like all the figures in this set, he does have a stud shooter, and like the previous figure, he has the same torso printing and the same leg printing, or lack thereof. Flipping him around does show you the same uh, back printing as the previous minifigure, and then the back of the helmet as well. And as you can see, he does not have a double-sided face. Also included in this battle pack is this First Order turret. The top of this can spin, and this can adjust in height. If you hold on to this bit here, you can adjust it. This is a stud shooter, so you can just press down on this to shoot out the green stud. It has some techniques built all around so that you can open up these little store compartments this one holds more ammo and on this side we have the control panel if you just place this down as you would if it was just parked there you could have one of the figures operating the turret overall I think this is a good set however the fact that it is a battle pack makes it less good the point of a battle pack is to build an army, and unless you want a very divided army where you have one like legion, say, of stormtroopers, then one of heavy assault stormtroopers, then one of first order crew members, then one of first order crew members with a cap, then this isn't really a very good battle pack. I wish that they'd probably included two stormtroopers in this, which is something they did do later in the other first order battle packs. And I think that swapping out one of the crew members uh, for a normal First Order Stormtrooper would have made this battle pack a lot better. That's it for my review of this First Order battle pack from 2016. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.